Oh my gosh, we're live, and that beautiful face you see is Roger Sherman's. You know him, you love him, you treasure him. He is the best tweeter <laughs> we've ever had on this show, and we've we've been on the air for a week. Roger, yeah. <laughs> Roger writes for the Ringer. These are things you need to know about Roger, by the way. Uh, they are they're they're key items. Let me see if I can find them. Roger has all sorts of things that are interesting about him. He has so many viral tweets. It was really tough to find the most viral, but it was about possessed squirrels on college campuses. Um, you see the other, he's from New York. He went to Northwestern. You probably know all of these things. Um, these are our best rounds, and Roger is looking to cement himself at the top. And if his performance playing college Jeopardy on YouTube is any indication, he has a really good shot. Also, you need to know this about Roger. He's fueled by pudding. I don't know if he has pudding in his system right now, but Roger, welcome. How are you? Yeah, it was tough buying at stores of their pudding supply. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you Those go are the to the stories the New York Times doesn't talk about. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoarding it. Yeah, you know, they always say like take two breads, but they don't have any limit on the mm -hmm. amount of pudding you can stock up on. Uh, how many? How many people have played the show to get? There's a top five on the leaderboard. There's a top five. It includes both me and Ty. We've been doing this since last Wednesday <laughs> with guests. So just over. If Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so you're the seventh guest. So there, that was a, that was a top five of seven people, including me. Right. <laughs> if yeah. I can't yeah. crack the leaderboard, that's pretty bad. Can I? Can I offer? Jump in, Ty. Uh, some behind the scenes knowledge here. Yeah. For those of you watching at home or on your mobile device, if you're in the car, Lord knows wherever you are right now, there was a brief but poignant conversation before Dan hit the go live button. Yeah. About how Roger has tried out every year or wants to try out every year to be part of the actual Jeopardy contest, like mm -hmm. on TV with Alex Trebek. So needless to say, I do not feel great about my chances here this evening, but I'm going to give it a, give it the old college try. Today's my, theme. Sorry, sorry. Go for it, Raj. My, uh, my, my trivia background is that I've won like several thousand dollars on HQ. That is true. That is a hundred percent true story. I, <laughs> I, know I, I bought my dog straight HQ winnings. <laughs> great. <laughs> This is terrific. Um, well, good. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for giving us some of your time. Today's theme is romance because both Ty is a Bachelor enthusiast and Roger is a professional Bachelor enthusiast writing columns about The Bachelor. Most college football players are Bachelors. That's not what we're discussing. But we're using the theme of love and we're using the theme of roses since the word rose is very much a college football word. Uh, Roger won the toss, so Roger's going to go first. Roger, I ask you this. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right. Here we go. He's going to get seven out of seven. I know. You it. think so? Oh, definitely. First, what Vegas actually, says Vegas has it at six and a half. Five college football questions, two pop culture questions. Roger, Vince Young and Texas famously won the 2006 BCS National Championship at the Rose Bowl. But which quarterback in team combo won the Rose Bowl game the year prior? Um, I, I, I want to say it's USC Matt Leiner, but. I, I'm thinking maybe they, they played in some sort of national championship game, which wouldn't have been held at the Rose Bowl. Um, so I'm, I, this was like before my college football watching time, I would say actually the 2005 Rose, the 2006 Rose Bowl was one of the like first college football games I watched. Sorry okay. to make you feel old. All, all um, good. I'm, I'm rolling with liner USC, but I'm a little bit nervous that they played in a, the 2005 BCS national championship game, which was not the Rose bowl. Well, you're correct in that assertion. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. not Matt Leinart yeah. and USB. I, they won the yeah. orange bowl in 2005 over Oklahoma in the national championship. Ty, do you have an answer? Start. That was Michigan. You guys are both incorrect. The correct answer mm -hmm. is also Vince Young and Texas. Oh, Texas they beat Texas Michigan Texas by one. Michigan. That's right. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're right. Roger, oh, for one, we go to Ty, a.k.a. The Real Ringer. That's right. Ty, I'm here. I'm this, here, baby. This team set a Rose Bowl record for points in a game during which, during which this game, their opponent's quarterback slipping and fumbling while throwing resulted in a scoop and score and became a popular meme involving wrestler Randy Orton. <laughs> So the opposing quarterback became a meme. This team set a scoring record. Also, if you're um, watching, say hi in the comments. What's up? Can you repeat the question, please? My this brain team... resets after like five yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This team set the Rose Bowl scoring record, okay? Okay. After yep. this team's opponent in the Rose Bowl game fumbled it, and it was picked up for a scoop and score because mm. the quarterback slipped, okay. and it became part of a meme involving wrestler Randy Orton. Uh, I believe we watched this game together, didn't we? I don't know. Dave, can you tilt your hat forward a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's a little. It's a little birdie. Mm. This was. Um, this was the Jameis fumble, wasn't it? Ty, you, you have to answer in the form of an answer. The answer is Oregon. The answer is Oregon. The, the Oregon, Oregon Ducks oh. yeah. set a Rose Bowl scoring. I remember record. that. One for <laughs> one. You? Coach Gambrell, LOL, Dan with the big duck energy. That's right. That is absolutely correct. Duck question and answer and hat. Um, I Rod, don't need a duck on there. It's a baby duck or it's a baby bird. Is, I don't know. Is this official Oregon no, merchandise? It's merchandise from Oregon fans. So it's mm. un unlicensed. Um, Raj. In 2012, Bobby Petrino got into a motorcycle crash, theme is romance, with a 25-year-old woman who worked in the Arkansas football department. She had also played a sport for the Hogs. What sport did she play? She, she was absolutely a volleyball player. <laughs> she was absolutely a volleyball player. Her name she was was and he, he, uh, he hired her like in very, it was, it was not just the, adultery that got him fired it Correct. was the it was the hiring a person that you are having sex with which is not generally frowned upon yeah it definitely is ty would you have known that i think i would have yeah, yeah. oh i love that okay yeah, ty so raj is now one for two we go to you ty ty a healthy number of tennessee fans coveted then espn broadcaster john gruden to be their head coach what portmanteau was popularized regarding the speculation around his potential hiring? What was that word? Portmanteau? Portmanteau. portmanteau. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I the, the, the joke has been that, been that uh, he, owns he owns land, land everywhere. everywhere. So right. I think it's that he owns land in Tennessee. So a portmanteau, can I, I'll, you didn't give me the term yesterday. I will give you a chance. Portmanteau means a combination of two words. Such as brunch? Brunch. Okay. Um, motel is a motor hotel. <laughs> so it's a term around the speculation. Oh, term around the kind of speculation. Yeah. Okay. What what we called it? Not. What, what do we call the speculation? All right. So, so the rumors were that he had land, or that his you know his wife had friends there. I forget what they were. <sighs> Port Mando. So brunch. Okay. Right, 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 right. Um, what did we refer to those as? Yeah. Well, this is Tennessee fans. And yeah, no, I, really I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Those were uh, those are the groomers. The groomers. The groomers. Is absolutely <laughs> correct. Came to you, came to you at the last moment. I, I think Roger would have gotten that. Yeah, my he favorite probably. Fleetwood Mac album. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's the, the groomers. <laughs> Groomers. Good one. Uh, Good one. Okay. So Ty is two of two. Raj is one of two. We go to Rod. Wow. Roger, in 2017, Hugh Freeze resigned at Ole Miss after cell phone records traced calls to an alleged escort slash massage service based in this outside of Mississippi town. It was in Florida somewhere. <laughs> and now it's time for us to play a game of... <laughs> Which Florida city is most conducive to dialing escort services? Uh huh. There's a lot of options here. There are definitely options. <laughs> it's it's a state that I I feel like is one of our our leaders in this category. I am torn between Tampa and Orlando. Mm -hmm. Can I give a hint? Sure. Yeah, why not? I, I I told Dan to tilt his Oregon hat down earlier, so we're helping each other out here. Yeah. And I gave you brunch, not literally. I yeah. said the word brunch. When I, when, when I first visited this city, um, I was told that the only two types of people who live there are strippers and ex-pro wrestlers. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go with with Tampa. I feel like Orlando has a little bit more of a family-friendly vibe. 
Yeah, Ty really just gave you the answer there. Um, well, you guys, <laughs> if he had said, I, he gave I me was... an answer with brunch. If he had said Disney characters, <laughs> 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 that would have been an indicator. Uh, Raj right. is now two of three. We move to you, Ty, for question number four. Ty, in 2014, Katy Perry, game day guest, mm. flirtatiously implored this Power Five starting quarterback to call her. He eventually shot his shots, albeit unsuccessfully. Trevor Knight. That's correct. That is absolutely correct. It didn't seem like he shot his shot until like February. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate. How did that was, was, were they were they previewing an AM game or they were previewing uh, a game was it, I think it was Oklahoma at the time. Yeah. Yes, good point. Sorry. It was Oklahoma at the time and she said something about liking Oklahoma's quarterback. He seems fine, but and to call her and was like flirtatious about it. Um yeah. Eventual a and quarterback, but at that time, Oklahoma. So, Ty, on the board, quickest ever with a Katy Perry question. <laughs> yeah. Quicker than anything else. Giving them uh, pop cultures. I'm better. All right. Better we, go to, we go to Raj, who's two of three. Question number four, Roger. This former Iowa State quarterback from the late 90s who has a first name that's also an herb considered to be an aphrodisiac <laughs> went on to have a surprisingly long 11 years NFL career. So Seneca is not an herb. Not to my knowledge, but <laughs> maybe I found um, it out. I have never been made horny by sage before. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to say Sage Rosenfels. Sage Rosenfels is correct. <laughs> is is that I, I guess um what throws me off there is you said you, you refer to it as an herb, as an aphrodisiac, but I feel like it's more like the burning candle. It is a sage, you burn sage leaves. That's the aphrodisiac element. The, but like putting a little bit of sage, the herb in your food, it does not like get you sexually riled up. Rod, <laughs> or at least can't. me personally. <laughs> you don't know that for sure unless you specifically experiment tuna. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know. Okay, Raj is three of four. Great one. Uh, Ty. Can you guys see my dog? Let's see oh, yeah. Dog. Oh, hey, Pop. Yeah. That's Tato. Oh, you have two pups. Two pups? Yeah, this is the California dog that I got out here. And there's a, there's a, another dog that came with me from New York. Who you Waz. Met. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go, Ty. In 2016, Ty's three of three, by the way. In 2016, Notre Dame lusted after this five-star wide receiver to the point where they drove their equipment truck 900 miles to his house so he'd wake up and see their big rig outside his house. He ended up signing elsewhere. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep, yep. They yep, lusted. Yep. So this was when they he did. was a recruit, a five-star wide receiver who signed out of the Out of the state of Georgia, he went to Cal and then came back to Georgia. Um. And I can't think of his friggin' name, <laughs> but I know the whole story. Um, it helps. It's Savannah, Georgia. Yeah, it is. Um, wow. It's um. Come on, you're so dramatic. People love the drama. I know, I know. You can cut the tension with the knife. It's um, yeah. He turned that Oregon question into like forty-five seconds earlier. I'm pretty sure he knew it right off the bat. <laughs> well, we didn't watch that game together, which threw me off. I watched that with my wife. That was the first time we had like gone to a football game. Robert, will you accept Robertson? <laughs> you know what? I will. I, yeah. I, I'm going to go with Jeopardy answering. It's Demetrius Robertson. Demetrius Robertson. That's it. All right. There it is. Raj, would you no. have known? No. Wow. No. I, I, I wasn't that up on Notre Dame recruiting. Before our fifth question, we go to two pop culture questions that are related to romance and college football, sort of. Okay. Roger. Speaking of Tampa, Tampa <laughs> area... <laughs> Tampa area notable Hulk Hogan has an actual real human name. What is it? He definitely knows this. Ooh, oh, I should know. That was um, it was like in the title of like the Gawker lawsuits and stuff. Uh, I'm going to oh, oh, 
were there are there any sexual herbs involved <laughs> in, <laughs> in his name? name. <laughs> well, it worked once. Oh, I oh got it. Terry Bolia. Terry, yeah, well, got it. Terry Bolia. Yeah, that's it. That was Good the one. other dog that just scrambled behind me. Good I don't know you, guys you guys are doing really good searching those memory I, banks. I, I would not have like, I don't know where, where that just clicked from. I feel like Terry got in there first. See, Dan, I, I owe you and Andy Staples an apology because, because you answered hang on schloopy to one yeah. of our questions and I wouldn't accept it. And you just gave me Robertson. I did. So I, feel, I feel like a dick because of that. And then Andy, I I was just really harsh on. So we have to invite him back soon. He'll be back. But Dan, so he gets a fairer shot. Dan is right. Those are Jeopardy rules, though. If you just say the last name, you're good. If you bit, like slightly mispronounce another word later, you might not get the point. So I know, we, I know, few, I know. A, but. a few days ago, there was the woman who said Shaka Khan instead of Sh Shaka the Zulu warrior. And she oh, didn't, yeah. get, the, wow. <laughs> she didn't get the point. Wow. But in, in the case, like yesterday, we had an Aguayo question, and it had to be the correct Aguayo. You couldn't say Ricky or Roberto and be correct. You just right. you know, had to be the right yeah. one. Like, like eight Aguayos. You need the right Aguayo. I, there are so many Rosenfelses <laughs> in college football. <laughs> True. And I had to say Sage. Uh, we go to you, Ty. Raj is four of five, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tough start, but no, I think it's great. Ty. Speaking of game day guest, Katy Perry, mm. she claims to have kissed a girl, liked it, and compared the taste <laughs> to this flavored product. Cherry chapstick. Holy <laughs> shit, Ty. <laughs> Next question. Let's go. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, me too. How quickly you do that. Yeah, I've gotten that quicker than any college football question. I'm well, so Trevor Knight, the other Katy Perry question. Wow. Ty, yeah. look at you. Look at you. Let's okay, go. let's go. Roger. Can't spell Katy Perry without Ty. <laughs> That's right. Raj, nine months after Snoop Dogg watched USC lose that national championship game to Texas, beginning of 2006. So this is nine months after January of 2006. He was featured on a number one Akon single. What was it? So... I feel like the words he says in the song are sexual seduction, but I believe the name of the song itself is sexual eruption. It's incorrect. It's tough. It's the name incorrect. of the Akon song. The name of the, it's an Akon song. I don't know if that changes things, if I was unclear. A um, it was number one on the Billboard Hot Dog. 100 charts. I may have been unclear because I think sexual eruption I, uh, was not bad. was not an it was not an Akon song. Okay, right. I'm trying to think of sexual related Snoop Dogg songs from the mid 2000s. No, it's an Akon song, not a Snoop. Oh, it's a an Akon song. He does a verse on an Akon song in 2006, which is prime Akon territory. Hundred um, percent. Wow, you're giving me a second life here, and I'm I'm still blowing it. Um, Akon, Snoop Dogg. I can the, play it I, for you. I'm loading I, it up. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm not. I won't take the point if you play it for me. But I no, kind of need to hear it. I kind of need to hear it. And you know we are from. I see you riding and I'm grinding. I'm 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 I did not remember that Snoop Dogg had anything to do with. Whoa, 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 whoa. Family show. So there's another problem. The, the name of the song is Love You on some I Want to Love You in it, but it's also I Want to Another Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. You, the you've, answer, chose, you've chosen the unedited version for this. The answer this is happy hour. The answer is I want to love you, but because you got an audio hint, I leave it to Ty to deem if you got. I, that I'm not we'll taking that point. We'll I'm not it. taking that point. We're no, taking. I'm not taking that point. I, I refuse. Okay. I, I'm an honest man. Four and of six. I I would never have guessed that. I would not have remembered that Snoop Dogg had any involvement in that song. Yes, he did indeed. Um, so four of six, Ty. You are five of five, and so this far. is. 
five five of five so far. This is your second uh your second uh pop culture question. Okay. We may or may not be getting into notable lanes. But this notable lane, Lane Smith, famously played Coach Riley, coach of this Mighty Ducks rival team. You mean the Hawks? You're asking me a question. I mean, the <laughs> Hawks was the rival team. The Hawks is correct. Wow. Lane Smith, the Hawks. That was now, a real I, question for me. I That was a real question for you. I was going to ask you the star of the Hawks, full name, before he transferred over to the Mighty Ducks. Would you have known that? Adam Banks. Oh, okay. So you would have gotten this it either a, way. This is a Mighty Ducks enthusiast you're if dealing you wanna, with. If you want to give me any Mighty Ducks trivia. <laughs> okay. Look. Henceforth, I'm, I'm good. For, I'm fine with that. You're both you're, big Ducks fans. That's true. Yeah. We have yeah. first question Ducks and then almost second, the penultimate question Ducks. Roger, we're going back to, to college football with our final, final question here. While it's not quite Michael Vick's alleged alias Ron Mexico, a few years ago, a denied rumor emerged that Lane Kiffin used this alias at bars when chatting up, let's call them the locals. The uh, the name in question is Joey Freshwater. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> that is correct. Joey Freshwater is 1,000% correct. Roger, you finished five of seven, which we've gotten a lot worse. Um, the 2005 Rose Bowl was right there for you, but it you didn't get it. I'm I'm not upset about missing that one. I am upset Acon. about missing the Acon question. That's that <sighs> that's really my wheelhouse. I was listening to a lot of. I think we've discovered that the 2005 2006 era is not one I remember very well. That's true. How old were you in 2006? <laughs> I was 16. <laughs> I, oh my <laughs> god! I I I. I I listened to a lot of music. I did not watch a lot of college football mm. at that time, so I, I should have gotten Akon. I, I'm, I'm sad about it. It happened to the <laughs> best of us, but we're going to fi finish out the round because Ty has an opportunity to go seven of seven. Is that correct, wow. Ty? I'm a little nervous about this. This doesn't. You gave me the right slate of questions today. A couple of which were very easy. So I, I'm appreciative of that. Thank you, Dan. Ty, in 2019, a newspaper demanded an apology from CBS after the network showed and replayed this player being, being accidentally pantsed in the middle of a play showing America, wait for it, a butt. A newspaper wow. demanded an apology from CBS after they showed a player getting ap accidentally pantsed, which ended up in... America seeing a butt. CBS. I don't know the answer to this. Um, 2019. 2019 CBS does SEC. Um, they also, they, I think they show the Sun Bowl. The Sun Bowl doesn't count. <laughs> Army, <laughs> Navy. <laughs> we don't count. We don't count the Sun Bowl. Um, man. Um, he's taking off his glasses like a disappointed Walter Cronkite. <laughs> I mean, it had to be, it's got to be somebody in the SEC. America saw Bowl. a butt or the, the Brute Sun Bowl. I have no idea. Or the Brute Sun Bowl. Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Just introducing a little bit of doubt. Yeah. Um, wow. I don't. I don't know. I have no idea. Throw me a guess. I. I, I mean, the there's Three, like four. Two. Joe Burrow. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Joe Burrow is the answer. No. <laughs> yeah. What did that happen? Did we say? How did you forget that? So many I good things I, happened to Joe Burrow this year. Don't give me that, that point. That was we bad. forgot about the butt. We did like, forget. I totally about forgot about like, that. It was like the thirteenth most notable thing that happened to Joe Burrow this year. For any other right. player, it'd be number one. As I honestly don't. Down, I don't even remember that happening, guys. If you Google Joe Burrow butt, Joe Burrow butt, you will see it. Don't give me that point. I don't want. Uh, what do you that mean was, don't give me that point. That was a total guess. That's okay. That I happens feel sometimes. By that, Ty, that's a perfect round. Um, 
I do have a tiebreaker ready, but you guys didn't tie. Let's do so the tiebreaker. Give it to All me. right. We'll just see who wins this tiebreaker, but tie wins with the perfect round. In 2016, wow. Christian McCaffrey set a Rose Bowl record with this many all-purpose yards in Stanford's decisive 45-16 win over Iowa. Whoever's closer gets the bonus question. I'm just going to throw a solid 300 out there. All right. Ty? Um, 450. I think, yeah, Roger's closer. It's 368. Wow, it really split the first yeah, there. yeah, I don't think he was touched in the first half. <laughs> I don't think an Iowa player touched him. Um, wow, so Ty, perfect round. Joe Burrow. I, as always, as always, I need to thank God, the troops, and Cam Newton's mother's womb. Absolutely. Um, they got to hit the three of the Holy Trinity. Um, and also, you want to tell the fine folks if they like this stream, where else they can find this stream a little bit later on today? Yes, we are doing a Q&A. Uh, you can ask us questions on one of these type of streams. It's just me and Ty. We don't have a guest for the Q&A. Um, and you can drop questions on Twitter, at Solid Verbal. You can subscribe to the podcast. We're going to be doing the Q&A once again. I believe it's at 8 p.m. Eastern, Ty. Is that correct? 8 p.m. Eastern, yeah. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, follow Roger Sherman. Follow, follow. He's at Roger, Roger with a D. Uh, some people would argue the most important Roger with a D in sports, if not for Roger Saffold. Words were close at the top. <laughs> but it's, you guys are just rocking it at the top. Um, Roger, thank you. I hope. Thanks, man. Thank you. What's for dinner? Something with sage, I hope. I, I'm, I'm not going to eat it until I've listened to Akon's entire discography. <laughs> okay, good. It's important. Um, Thank you, everybody, for watching. Roger, it's an absolute joy. We will have you back, just like I guess we have to have Andy Staples back after Ty claims he was robbed. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, go follow Roger and read everything he writes. He's amazing. Bye-bye. Thanks again. Thanks.